I know George is known for is those Sonics, man. Yes, Sonics. <laughs> they got Wrath, they got Speedo. They, they, have, they have quite a few Sonics. Yeah, um, it seems like most of them are sticking with it, uh, even like with the quote-unquote nurse. I, I, I do feel like this character is very underrated and very underdiscovered. Yeah. He's just so different in this game. Yeah, watching Sunito play Sonic Day has completely changed my opinion of the character. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right. Sorry on here. I think Randy, he wants to get these big combos. He's so good at playing just fast, fast, fast. And of course, Sunito is too as a Sonic player. Oh, yeah, of course. And I mean, I, I'm very curious to see how consistent Pichu's combo game is on a character like Sonic who has like an out like Up B. Up B out yeah. of combos is a very common thing that Sonic can do. And get, it gets him out of, a, honestly, like a ton of sticky situations. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know Randy, you know, he practices combos. Any character he's going to combo, he knows all the things. You know, right there, that's, that's, you know, honestly a rare drop. Oh, yeah. And I mean, that's the one thing about Pichu, you know, like definition of glass cannon character. This character can kill you at 50 and. Definitely dies at 52. Like, definitely those wild oh, yeah. situations. So, I'm um, extremely light. The lightest character in the game by far. And Sonic, definitely a character that's very strong. Yeah, I think the big situations we're going to have to watch out for, you know, for Pichu against Sonic, it's, it's like how he's been doing so well the entire game, just putting people in the corner and just killing him. Pichu will die so early to so many of those things. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, you know, he's been so good at escaping pressure in the corner. I wonder if Randy can, like, really change that and make it so that he's, like, the one being the one pressure in the corner. And of course, Sonic's F Smash, too. Like, that, that move in itself is just very dangerous. We're going to see an edge guard and definitely. Oh, ooh, yeah. Just like that. Yeah, very nice. And I, I like that Arfang waited in that situation. Right from the upbeat, you knew he had the directional air dodge to essentially get to the ledge because he went so low. Um, and Arfang just did such a good job. Just oh, yeah. Arfang just recognized the situation immediately. It was like he's going to air dodge the ledge. Let me just nair him. Yep, exactly. And then. He's rack on some more damage. Ooh, the Thunderbolt thund thund catching him. Man, this is so scary. You're just because waiting. Any kind of setup, like down tilt and a dare, would kill uh, Sunito right now. And oh, and the jab. Ooh, lock. the jab. Well, that oh, smash is oh. that going to take it? Ooh. Remember? Randy is really out here. Oh, yeah. And uh, Randy definitely knows how to get those setups to kill a 50. I mean, we were talking about earlier, right? Glass cannon. This little mice can pack a punch, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that stock was cleared off at 160. You know, I'm sure Sunito is playing very scared right now. He does not want to lose another stock that early. You yeah, know. and I mean, a lot of people. I kind of doubt, okay, you're dead, you're dead. Yeah, you're that's, like that's super dead. dead. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of people have been kind of doubting Pichu after the patch, you know what I mean? Like, even people like Void and um, other Pichu players have kind of been dropping him yeah. on, the, on the, like, kind of decline. I mean, the nerfs were pretty big, but, I mean, we still have players out here like Arfang still rocking the Pichu here and still doing really, really well. Oh, yeah, I mean, and I think if even when the nerf happened, he himself doubted Pichu. He tried to pick up his snake. He tried to, you know, work more on his young link and stuff. But the more he played, you know, he went to smash and splash. And, you know, after that, the more he just played Pichu, he realized this is just the character that fits him. It's yeah. his play style. Yeah. Because exactly. he, he just does not let people breathe. Yeah, and I mean, that's th this character's pressure can be so insane. It, when Pichu gets in, it's so hard to get him off of you. Um, definitely not a character with a ton of range, but it's, uh, it's devastating when this character hits you. Yeah. If you got the precision, you can do it. And that's what he's showing his head. Ooh, missing that grab. That's, so, that's ooh. ooh. It's going to be a lot. I thought he was going to get him with a thunder. Ooh, the single jab. I love that to beat out the oh, spin dash. Oh, he's going to get down throw. Man, and this, is, this is such solid. Going for the S-Match, of course. keeping him in the corner. But remember that Peter, you know, even though he hasn't, you know, a good chunk of the damage he's been taking has just been him doing it to himself here. He's oh, yeah. easily a death percent. You know, this is not over for Sunido at the slightest. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, I mean, that self-damage adds up so, so much. But one thing about Pichu, the hardest part about just getting Pichu or just killing Pichu is hitting him. You know, yeah. You know, Pichu's so small. Ooh, ooh, he gets out of it. Wow. He DI'd to the left, too. That was really nice. But Arfang did drop the, the thunder in terms of just, like, hitting the base. But a fourth throw might do it. Fourth throw. Ooh, fourth throw. Yeah. Fourth right throw takes end. it. Really good stuff from I did Arfang. not realize that was that strong. Yeah, especially by the edge, and we saw how much rage Arfang had as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it, it's a it's such a scary situation when you're in the corner versus Pichu because you can't get hit by F-Tilt, especially like at that percent. Oh, yeah, you no. You can't get grabbed. It, it's so scary. Ledge jump can get caught by F-Tilt or back air. Um, it's just so suffocating is the word I yeah. like to use. Even after the nerfs of the F-Tilt, I mean, that move is still going to kill you at higher percents. Oh, yeah. You know, it's not it's not as, as, you know, as kind of cheesy as it was, but it is still, <laughs> it is still incredibly strong. Yes, and... The frame data, I, to my knowledge, didn't get changed, or if no. it did, did it wasn't by much. So still very uh, fast move, very low cooldown. You kind of, kind of like throw out like multiple of them in very quick succession. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, it's just it's not gonna kill at 110 anymore. Right now it's gonna kill at like a little bit more reasonable percent for a move that that's quick. Oh yeah. Oh. So he starts out with some getting. Oh, he misses the combo right there. I think he was trying to go for an up air, not up smash. 
Yeah, tried to get Sonic in the loops there. Sonic is definitely that uh, floatier character for combos, so definitely going to be susceptible to the lightning loops. Okay. Right now, Sunito doing a really good job. Oh, yeah. Rain's going to be looking for... Oh, I was going to say he's going to be looking for a kill right there. You know, he, he repeats that option, the, the F-Specialized, because it doesn't really cost him anything to do it, and it could easily just net him a full sock. Oh, yeah, and... I mean, I, I feel like if you play Pichu, you definitely have to take those risks. Pichu's oh, yeah. definitely not a low-risk character. You yeah. you need to get those stocks early because you die so early, um, it, it, there has to be some type of compensation. And you, you That's just what the character so strong is doing. Oh, yeah. And he's in a bit of a danger zone here. I think, you know, a Sonic back air would cl close it out for him right now. Oh, the down smash. Is, gonna oh, get, is, yeah. it, is back there going to kill? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some little light boy. Yeah, and I mean, Piju just extremely light. Uh, Piju is just so funny, especially when I play versus Piju. It's like, oh, like, there's some of these moves that, like, really aren't kill moves, but I'm playing Piju, so they're kill moves. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> now, let's see. Playing from behind is Piju is something that, you know, I'm, I'm, I wonder, like, is it really. It's, it's obviously no one wants to be behind, but. With him, it feels so dangerous because you rack up damage as you're trying to get those kills. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, Pichu is definitely one of the, uh, probably one of the worst top tiers to uh, come from behind in terms of percentage because you're dealing damage to yourself. I mean, when it's last stock, since you can just, you know, kill people at 50%, it kind of doesn't really matter if it's last stock because Pichu is so good at closing out stocks at lower yeah. percent. Yeah, but I mean, if you look, he, he racked up 10% on himself right there just by trying to go for kills, not even like going for it. Oh, yeah, you for know, sure. Seems to seem to be channeling a bit of the Smash 4 Sonic right there, <laughs> running to one side, charging side B, and running to the other side. Yeah, exactly. I mean, not able to cancel it with shield, but... Ooh, he catches him with the drag down. And that that confirm works forever. <laughs> yeah. It, it's so good. And that, I mean, Pichu and Pikachu have such large grab ranges as well. So, I mean, just having that available to them. Oh, are we going to see the loops? No, get the oh, last no, hit the, here. The oh, town and city did not come through. And that may be one of the reasons, you know, Senior picked this, is that he doesn't have consistent platforms to do anything with. Oh, man, my man's tried to get the Ooh, double that was, that was okay. All right. Sunito, this tournament, he's gotten so much mileage out of that F-Tilt. Yeah, and I, I feel like Sunito is also doing, like, honestly, like, Sonic has a very great recovery, but he's been doing such a good job. I feel like Arfring hasn't been really able to get, like, any offstage situations really going for him. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, no. And it was the same when he was playing against Peebnut earlier. Like, he's, he's so good at not getting caught offstage, you know? Sonic's recovery obviously not a very linear one. You can do a lot of things with it, but he is just so good at utilizing it. Oh yeah, just abusing every single option. Ooh, the Tito is gonna beat that out. Oh, the back, back to that'll take it. Yep. See ya later, little guy. Pichu going straight to the blast zone there. Can he close it out just by coming back here and a back air back Ooh. to back? Even. Yep. And just like that, I, I feel like Arfang. I mean, this this game particularly, Sunito able to take the stock. Oh, the loop loops. Oh, there. Oh, the yeah. Game. Just like you were saying. Yep. Such a good move to just get out of combos. You are intangible in the beginning as well, so. Now, I wonder, does, does Sonic Side B have properties at the beginning like it did in Smash 4, the invulnerability? That I don't know. I don't oh, know okay. if it's still, because I remember the little hop-up had intangibility, so yeah. that was a uh, very irritating to deal with. But, ooh, <laughs> seems doing a really good job spacing these back. He's, you know, he seems like he's learned a lot from the first game and this game. And he really does not want to get caught in these things. Oh, but Randy, Jeez. not letting him choose. Oh, man, oh, I, wonder the spring. If, I wonder if he could have thundered right after that second up air. It, it looked like it, but it, maybe yeah, he wasn't yeah. ready he for that for like, weird D.I.N. Maybe we're really not oh, expecting Oh, he's got him it. on stage with the back air. Oh, forward smash. Oh, double enough. Double forward smash. Okay, back to neutral Ooh, here. Another back air. Again? Now, Sino off stage. This is, this is... Ooh, that's so scary. Okay, yep, trying Sino to just wants, you know, he wants the forward smash. Oh, yeah. Or, sure. or a back air. or you know, Honestly, many things will just kill Pichu at this point. Ooh. Oh, oh, he parries the wrong hit. That was so unfortunate. Oh, man. Are one of these four? How is he going to get? Oh, the back air. Does that take it? Oh, no. Barely alive. Barely. Oh, oh the field falls out. out of the forward air. Oh, I, I like Sunito just being patient. Can he close out with the up air? No, not going to connect. Oh, ba that back air. No, that's no. not even. Oh, oh with just, just Ronald running off and nearing him. Doesn't want to risk the fair again, falling out. Yeah, twirling on him, man. The Nair, usually you don't see that kill too often, but off stage when you're that deep, that high of a percent. Arfang going to go up 2-0 here versus Sunito. Of course, this is a South Carolina versus Georgia faceoff. And I mean, we've got like three Georgia players. Georgia yeah, yeah, really Georgia. showing up at this tournament right now Yeah, in top eight. You know, yesterday, Peebnut took out Fatality. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Salt wanted up didn't get a second taking out Peebnut. But Georgia really, they, they won it now. Yeah. You know, oh, they, yeah. They, you know. yeah, and even like today, Salt One getting the upset over some of the Japanese players as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Whew. Salt One playing amazing today. Oh, yeah. But, all right, back to town and city. 
Oh, very interesting counter. I know this was a strong Sonic stage in uh, in four, but I do feel like this is one of the better stages for Pichu. You know, you're usually going to kill off the side with Pichu. You can live longer off the top, and you're just going to get these gimps. And yeah. We have, like when you just get gimps in general, you don't really have to worry about big blasts. Yeah, I mean, you, you you do you don't get the consistent platforms you have everywhere else where you can plan out you know these things, but the platforms you know. Generally, any of them can help you if you're anywhere near them when you're doing something on Pichu. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I, you know, he probably knows something we don't, but I, I question the stage pick. Yeah, and I mean, Sonic, again, just very underscore. I know very little about this character. That's true, too. Very unpopular. So definitely um, got to be some kind of advantage, maybe like just upping to the platforms. I know that was a very popular option. In oh, he can get up attack. Only getting, oh, gets Man. him with it. That's so good. It is so good. He's so consistent at getting it, too. Yeah, you, if there's one thing you got to be consistent with as a Pichu player, it's going to oh, be your up and that. Oh, oh are you dead? Here? Oh. No, no, no. I like the DI in from Sunito. He knew if he DI'd out, he could potentially get like forward aired or yeah, yeah. possibly get hit with the sus DI into death. But really nice awareness coming out from Sunito. But man, what an uphill battle already. Game three, you're already down 2-0. Arfang starting it off like this game number three like this like man oh yeah Ooh. Ooh. again oh he tries to go for that okay, okay oh he got the back air all right Arfang calm down calm down Sunito still up in too. he's really trying to just get some clips on this man oh yeah like I mean we just see him going so ham off stage there's the di the directional air dodge a little bit, bit delayed there for yeah. Sunito I like it we see the, the one time that he got caught doing that and the Dark Knight got him killed was the very first stock of the very yes. first game. And since then, he's been so clean about not getting it. Ooh, but doesn't get hit by that so close. Yeah, that was so... Because he DI'd left right there, he didn't get hit by the base. Again, trying to get that run back with the Thunder. Sunito at max rage, 100 and Oh, the back air just getting him. But no more Arfang Sunito. with a massive lead right now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, getting the grab. Man, I'm very surprised he didn't get that platform extension there. But here comes okay. the Sonic damage. Yeah, Sinner still getting damage. good combos off of Spin Dash. Still a thing for Sonic. Okay. Oh, man, you, yeah, oh he's, he's, he's going. You know, he's going for. He's definitely trying to kill him. At he says, right "I don't now. care what percent you are. I'm going off stage against you." Yeah, exactly. I mean, why not? The character's so strong, so fast, nimble off stage. Oh, tries to get there. Oh. These he, wants in this, he wants in this now. Ooh. Ooh. The clean parry coming out from Arfang, and this corner pressure is still going. Are we going to get the down there? Another delay coming out from Sunito. Back air. Oh, the back air. Oh, oh, oh he, tried he really. To he definitely tried oh. to catch like a roll or something with that fans. That would have been so hype. Now let's see. Arfang really wants to close it out here, but Sunito, you know, he can he can bring it back. Pichu will die so will die obviously die at this percent. He can go back throws, lots of things. The next stock, you know, it can be so quick. Oh, it oh is the it? back throw? Yeah, oh, that's that should dead. kill. Yeah. Yeah. Pichu so light. Exactly. Yep. And I mean, especially with uh, oh, Rage on the does side. here. Great DI way. Not going to get comboed into that forward air. And of course, Pichu's damaging themselves the whole time. So, oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, this comeback is definitely can happen here. All these trades in favor of you know, Sunito. Yeah, Sunito, he's, he's slowed it down. Oh, some good damage. Oh. Ooh, doesn't get that back in. That could have been a really dangerous situation. Yeah, uh, I mean, a sweet spot back air over there, I mean, maybe would even kill. Yeah. I think it would, it would, what it would do is it'd put him in that, that terrible situation to be off stage, you know, at, at death percent at that point. Oh, oh, that was so smart. See, Town and City just giving right there. Give another. Oh, did the F tilt take it? No, no the, yo, the nerfs. Take it. The nerfs coming in. <laughs> oh, the nair. Air dodge. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, tries. Dude, Sunito's recovery is so Oh, smart. the F tilt. This is really dangerous for Arfang. Yeah, I mean, one solid hit. The back throw. Oh, man. Ooh. Up here. Ooh, the up smash. Yes, there it is. So clutch coming out from Great job Arfang. from Rarefang. Yeah. And of course, we are in South Carolina, so the crowd is popping off for their boy Arfang. Going to take it over. Sunito. Yeah, Sunito. And that, what, a, what an insane set. I mean, it's just there was, especially that game number three, it was so close. Oh, Sunito yeah, yeah, yeah. was so close. He was one back throw, one solid like back air forward smash from getting the possible reverse 3-0. But, of course, Arfang. Closing it.